everybody and welcome to this RJ Connect technical video. My name is Johan Heisselman and I'm a senior field application engineer for RJ Connect and I'll be taking you through today's video. If you like this type of content, hit like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content. In today's video, we'll be focusing on connecting a Vega Mini Track Heart Enabled Density Sensor to our Crevis Remote IO solution. The GL9087 network adapter allows us to connect via Profinet to our PLC, Siemens PLC. Together with a heart enabled input module, we can then read heart data from a heart sensor into our Siemens PLC. To understand this a little bit better, let's go into the configuration for our GL9087. As you can see, connected to our network adapter is a GT5914 4-20mA input module, which supports heart. When we import this module into our program, we automatically see that addresses are assigned to the input module, both input and output addresses. The 24-byte input addresses assigned to this module are used to read both the 4-20mA signal from each channel, as well as our heart-enabled variables from our sensor. The output addresses are actually used as control bits to control which heart-enabled variables we're reading from our sensors. To understand this a little bit better, let's go to our watch and force tables to show you how we control which data we read. In our watch table, we'll see that the first four words that are available in, for this card are actually our raw analog input value, our raw 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So as you can see, we only have input word 3 or channel 1 wired in as an analog input module. This is where our Vega hot uh, sensors is wired into. Now our next set of input addresses are actually zero, showing zero at the moment. And this is because we haven't set the control bits yet to control which heart variables we want to read. To do that as a test, we can go to our force table and force those bits onto our output bits. So the first two bits of our first byte actually control the channel that we're reading data from. And then the next two bits, two and three, um, control which variable we read. So in this case, one one re would represent variable number three. Channel zero one represents channel number one. Now if we force these values onto our PLC and we go back to our watch table, we'll see that our second set of uh, input addresses are actually populated with the hard variable data. So the first heart variable data would be our counts per second for this Vega sensor. The 4.6 value represents grams per cubed centimeter. The third variable is our pulses per second. And then our last final variable would be our temperature uh, reading of the electronics of our sensor. So as you can see, it's fairly simple and easy to read hard data through our Crevis Remote IO solution using a GL9087 and a GT5914 heart-enabled input module. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Please hit that like button and subscribe 